The New Zealand dotterel is now one of our rarest birds due to its love of coastal habitat, which in summer just happens to be the favourite playground of many people, not to mention introduced predators. Luckily, the locals around here take their birds pretty seriously, and Susan, the dotterel lady, and her team of minders help look after these beach-going birds. What's special about the New Zealand dotterel? There's only about 1,700 of them left. The last census was done in 2004. They live only in the northern half of the North Island now. They used to be right throughout New Zealand. On the Coromandel here, we've got probably about 16% of the population, which is um, just over about 300 birds. How are people a problem for the dotterels? As the people approach and, and pass through the nesting area, they do wonderful little diversion displays where they run off down the beach trying to get you away from chicks and nests and it can be quite a period of time before the birds will go and settle back on the eggs again. Uh, if it's a hot day like today, the eggs can get overheated and the chicks inside can die. So we try and rope the areas off to minimise that sort of disturbance. They're hugely protective. They'll take on gulls and hawks and they're hugely courageous at defending chicks and nests. Uh, hedgehogs are our main predator of eggs. We've also got feral cats and domestic cats cause trouble and dogs wandering. The nests are just little scrapes in the sand. They're very difficult to see. So we just try to minimise the number of nests that get accidentally destroyed. What sort of things do you do to protect the nests on the beach? Well, generally it's a signs that we put up in September and then we take them down again at the end of the year and once we find what's called a scrape, the male bird will make three or four scrapes for the female and she'll have them and say, ha ha, you know, it's only got one bedroom, ha ha, it hasn't got any toilets or something. So he'll go to another one. And once they settle on it, she'll lay one egg and then a couple of days later she'll lay another egg and then the third egg, then we put a rope around. And they are increasing. And, you know, you're fighting the weather. We're fighting the weather. And they're fighting it even worse than we are with the um, big tides. There's two eggs yeah. in there. Yeah. yeah. Were they nesting up on there before? Yeah, they were up on there. Right. And we moved it about two metres, and then next day we moved it a bit. And because the um, creek changed its direction, we had to then build it up. Right. And underneath there is a yellow bucket <laughs> full of sand. Right. Yes. And the doctors didn't mind you moving their nest up here? Well, they. Do, but once she's been on for any a week, two weeks, they become very determined that they're going to stay there. And it's great because I meet people on the beach and we will talk about it with the children. I think it's just important that we are aware of how endangered some of our birds are. With almost 20% of the New Zealand dotterel population found here on the Coromandel Peninsula, the work of Susan and her volunteers is absolutely crucial. Their presence on our beaches ensures that fewer dotterel nests are trampled underfoot by people and gives more of us the chance to become just as dotty about dotterels as they are.